frogs right now. How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Well, okay, never mind. We're not tooting the horn this time, apparently. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hello. I'm sure one of your spells will get us door open, our labor. Okay. Spring lock, there you are. I'm like, wait, where is it? There. What are you doing? Leave me alone, I beseech you. Sheesh. Wait a minute. Are you are you the frog prince? You know who I am? But how? The frog prince of the desert. That's you, isn't it? The one who left his kingdom, abandoning his princess? How do you... What are you going on about, Esther? Are you trying to confuse us or something? <laughs> it wouldn't take much to confuse the likes of you, Swain. <laughs> okay. I'm just a bit shocked, all right? I didn't think we were going to bump into a prince from a fairy tale, did I? A fairy tale? <sighs> I see. So that is how you know of me. Let me think. Now let me think. Ah, yes, I remember. Alright, listen carefully. Once upon a time, before the fathers of our fathers' fathers were born, there was a prince and a frog in that in There was a kingdom. In that kingdom lived a handsome and courageous young prince. Jeez, you're going faster than I can read. Then one day, the kingdom was attacked by a monster. Ha! Got you! I got you! Then one day, the kingdom was attacked by a monstrous serpent. A beast so hideous that it struck fear into all who saw it. A terrible, evil creature. Uh. The prince decided that in order to defeat the serpent... He would have to drink a certain mysterious potion. No sooner had he swallowed the diabolical draught, than he began to turn into a frog. What? Why would he drink a potion that turned him into a frog? A frog doesn't stand a chance of beating a snake. the story yet. I told you to listen carefully, didn't I? Not ask stupid questions. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. The reason he decided to turn into a frog was to lull the serpent into a false sense of security by becoming one of its favorite foodstuffs. If I recall correctly. Ahem. Uh yes. My apologies. Please continue. Don't inter interrupt a woman's story, or statement, or words of any choice. So the prince turned himself into a frog. For he had a plan. He knew the serpent would not be able to resist eating him, and that this would allow him to attack the monster from within. The plan worked. The serpent swallowed the prince and received a mortal blow from inside for its troubles. But alas, the prince could not return to his original form. No matter what he tried, he remained an ugly frog. This caused him great distress. He could not stop thinking about how foolish he had become. So he vowed to hide himself away from the world. Now the prince is married to a beautiful woman. Though he had promised her that they would be together forever and ever. She had not seen him since he left the, to face the serpent. It began to seem that he would never return. Despairing, the princess went to the tomb where the prince had slain the serpent and wept for her lost love. And there she remained, waiting for her prince, though she knew he would never return. 
waiting until the end of her days. Wow! That is depressing. She waited, you say? I see that it truly has, be has become a fairy tale. Oops. Don't need to push that button anymore. Gee, that's a pretty sad story. Every girl in the Moon is told that story when they're young, and everyone cries the first time they hear it. You speak of it as if it were a work of fiction. Oh, I'm sorry, Prince Ali. <laughs> Prince Ali. It has been a very long time since anyone has called me by my name. Well then, shall I tell you the final chapter of your fairy tale? The final chapter? So, the prince left his princess behind and turned his back to, on his kingdom. The princess's name was Yasmina. Can I just call her Jasmine? That's way more similar. That's similar enough to where it's like, yeah, why not, right? By the way, she was the love of the prince's life, and yet he abandoned her. Many years passed, and the prince remained a frog, only to find to his dismay that he was unable to die. Yes, he was destined to live as a frog forever. Even after his kingdom had been razed to the ground. That's just terrible. <laughs> I may have suffered, but it is nothing compared to the pain I caused my beloved Yasmina. I guess I'm forced to call her by her actual name. Fine. Alright, whatever. But Bob wants to call her George. Bob, that's a guy's name. Bob doesn't understand naming people. That's why Bob's never going to be allowed to name my kids. <laughs> I may have suffered, but it is nothing compared to the pain I caused my beloved Yasmina. Indeed, I feel sometimes that this is just punishment. But why are you in this cell, your highness? It is the serpent. Apep. Okay. He has returned. Someone brought him back to life. I don't think there are many people who could breathe new life into an ancient monster. Yeah, I can only think of one. You mean, should I? Apep wasted no time in taking his revenge. That is how I came to be imprisoned here. Who can say how long he intends to prolong my agony? Have I not suffered enough to remain in this form to live without my beloved? Hatha, isn't there a spell you can cast to bring Prince Ali back to normal? You mean something to lift the curse that turned him into a frog? Hmm. Hang on a flippin' minute, man. Why don't we use that magic sickle that lifted our froggy curse? You're right. It worked for us. Maybe it will work for him. But surely you did not consume the same shape-shifting potion that I did. Well, it wasn't a potion, no. But that's not important right now. Come on, your highness. Let's give that magic circle a try. Could such a magic truly reside in this temple? What if I were to become human again? What new torments would Op have dis device for me then. You mustn't think about things like that, your highness. We have to try at least. Now come with us. We'll take you straight to the magic circle. Prince Ali is now coming with me. Apparently. I don't know how I feel about this. Ali Ababwa, maybe? That's, honestly, I'm sorry for the reference, but that is one of my favorite films. Dodge jeez. Looks to me there's, there are some runes on the wall by uh, Ali Boy. But we can, can have a gander at them later. Is it? We need to get Prince Ali back to his normal first. Alright, alright, alright. Prince Ali, 
This is the magic stuff up that circle that lifted our curse. Magic circle. Could such a thing really have the same effect on me? Well, there's only one way to find out. Yes, you're right. It worked! Bob, he's still a frog. No, he's a turtle now, see? He looks really funny. Bob, Bob, that looks nothing like a turtle. Actually. I stand corrected. That actually does kind of look like a turtle. <laughs> okay, Bob, you get, you get half points for that. Yay! Okay. What? I don't understand. He's standing in the magic circle just like we did, but nothing's happening. The poor fellow's been like that for thousands of years. What were all we were only cursed for a few minutes. I'm so sorry, Prince Ali. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. There's no need to apologize. I was rather expecting this to happen. Shoot. I do not believe my curse will be lifted while Apep draws breath. He is doubtless using his own foul magic to strengthen its hold. Great. Well then, it's pretty obvious what we need to do, ain't it? Mr. Jippy's right. There's only one thing for it. Surely not. Surely you are not going to try and defeat Apep. That would be unspeakably reckless. Ah, oh, please, do you know who you're talking to? I... I shall assist you. I must... <clears throat> no, you can't fight him, Prince Ali. Not in your condition. Don't worry, Prince Ali. You can count on us. We'll defeat Abeb and lift your curse. I... I believe in you. Something about you makes me believe. Abeb looks deep within this, these ruins. I shall take you to him. Um... How'd you end up over there? How did you end up over there? Perhaps a key is required to open that door. But there are no keys in these ruins. I am sure. However, there was something written on the wall myself. I wonder if it is some kind of clue. Two firm friends play leapfrog all across the floor. There was more as well, I'm sure. Perhaps understanding those words is the key to opening this door. Two firm friends play leapfrog. Okay. There's something written on the wall here, Mom. Two firm friends play leapfrog all across the floor. Uh, oh, there's more. Each one gamely going where the other one was before. Doesn't make much sense to me, man. Hmm. It's a riddle. I think it's like puppet strings or something. I don't spring lock nature's tongue levitate bridge puppet string there you are how did I miss this whoa I'm an idiot. I think I remember what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Simple as that. I think the... The water's going... The water's being drunken by that fire. 
Bob. Water drenches fire. No, it don't. The door's securely locked. Well, shoot. Well, I guess we're going backwards then. Let's see what bullcrap we can find now. <laughs> not a liask. I'm not your liask, I guess is what that's saying. Are they seriously dying in two hits? Chloroborsk. What are these names? What are these names? And that is gonna curse me. Yep, a Nyx trap. I remember that. Okay, fine. I'll use a freaking Nyx Be Gone then. If I have one. Sleepy Gone, Blindness, Strong, Poison. There. Screw you. I am going to unlock this lock whether you like it or not. You obtained the Serpent Key. Yeah, there's no way to get around the Nyx. Huh? I want that. Ready? There we go. What's in the chest? A set of st okay. Let's find out what's over here. Over me on the mea. Actually, this one can only be opened by Moonstone. Well, there's no prizes for guessing what the Serpent's Key is called. Why the Serpent's Key called the Serpent's Key? Gee, I wonder. Well, screw you then. Not 100% in the game anyway. What's over here? I am next. What is this way? What is over here? Ooh, a chest. Thank you. A green mask cloak. Hmm? I got the chest. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth getting nixed twice to only get unnixed with one spell. Dude, I'm already nixed. I'm only gonna unnix me. The other two can wait. Alright, let's go. Water is drained. Let's move forward. Yeah, let's go up the serpent's nose. I think there might be some treasure up there. Bob, why would you want to go up this? Bob, you have all the wrong answers. Then again, what else is new? Actually, Bob, here's proof. What's two plus two? The alphabet! No, Bob. So the Cobra King is up ahead. Wait, but you are. Take your time and make sure you're pro prepared. Ooh, the Night Blade. Eh, 
I don't think up three is worth down that much. Yeah, I think I I, I think we're good. Nightblade was a good idea though. Let's see, we got cut loose and sandblast. Let's do slash and burn. And War Cry. And why don't you have anything? I'll take care of that in a sec. Um, this works. I'll make it. I will make it. I will get the next attack thing. I will get the next attack. Can I have some white chocolate instead? Or some dark chocolate or something. Mighty's attack increased by one. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Ooh, my defense went up too. Alright. You have a tendency to bring this guy out a lot, so I'm going to upgrade him. Whoa! Why are you feeding him water? That shouldn't be possible. Uh, Bob, I'll tell you one thing. That, it shouldn't be possible, but that's not water. That is chocolate. Bob, you need to be quiet. Your answers are always wrong. I'm just gonna do this until he's full. Or, you know, everything else that I hold could just be too much on the... for the body to handle. You know? Stuff like that. Aw, oh, man. There's a lot I could do. Cool. No, keeping it. Yeah, never mind. I'm keeping that stuff. I have no axes. What is wrong with me? Anyway, well, I guess we're ready. Let's go. Tidy. Let's go. Let's kill the snake. Wait, seriously? You're not even get Bob, what'd you do? I shanked the door. What did you say, Bob? Um, how did you do that? It's not even, it's in a game. How did you do that? I jumped down and went, hey, hey, hey. For some reason, it considered the thing I just said. I don't even know what I just said. When do you know, Bob? I'm gonna cut you off before you say anything else. When do you know? 24-9. Are you, do you mean 24-7, Bob? No, 24-9. 24 minutes, nine hours a day.
Okay, we're gonna. Well, you know what, Bob Sherp? We'll leave you at that. Uh. You know what? Before I go in there, I'm gonna save up. I am going to save. Well, I'm not going to save, save, but I do want to power anything I can up. All right. Heading in. Time to fight. Let's see what Ape Opep can do. the Cobra King. I wish I could... What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't remember this boss very well. Oh, this is not good. Sure that slimy so and so doesn't come anywhere near me, Ollie boy. Afraid. Me and my phobias weigh me down. They do. Ugh. There's an idea. Pop something heavy on top of that thing. And, ooh. Thank you for telling me its weakness. Burden. Whoever did that, thanks. You really think you're gonna be allowed to finish that? Ow! Ow! Well, that's not very nice. Seriously? I mean, true. Dance now, buddy. Well, alright. No. Oh, that did not look like it felt good, Swain. Sorry. Let's put another burden on you. Seriously? Really? You know what? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try something else. Burden. Put him down again. Yeah, you're not allowed to do an attack. Only I am. You just did an attack. What are you talking about, Bob? Whoa. Okay. Let's put you on a burden. And attack you with that kind of magic. That is definitely something I want to see. That kind of power. There we go. Arrow blight. Shoot him. Uh-oh. Well then, that hurt. There, there's the pattern for this battle. <laughs> Burden then arrow of light. Makes the battle so freaking easy. Then again, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, I'm still on easy mode, so. Oh, yeah, let's not do that. Ow! Yeah, you thought you could do that. But, uh. No, no! I love how the battle just, like, freezes. Like, seriously, dude. Here, 
have another burning. Yeah, nice try. I'm not letting you do the no another of the death rattles. All right. Uh-uh, 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 nope. Bro, you just don't learn your lesson, do you? And the arrow of do not kill him. Good job, Swain. Good job. You know what? Swain, you did something right. <laughs> snake seriously dude you're the only one afraid right now and that's the third stone that is all three stones but first It. One of more Sarah's magic stones. So the slimy, slimy op have had it all along, did he? Good work, Ollie boy. I am speechless. I can scarcely believe that op have has been defeated, and yet. <laughs> but Prince Ali, is th this? It's the curse. The curse is lifting. Finally. I... Ugh. I, I'm... Human? Or... Prince Ali? Wow, it's a miracle. He's human again, after all these years. Seems I... have returned to normal. To right you have. So what are you still looking so... What? Drippy, were you paying attention to the story at all? He's sad because he has no pickles. Bob, nobody likes pickles. Yeah, they do. They drink them all the time. But Bob, do you even know what a pickle is? Uh, orange juice? <sighs> Bob, sometimes I just wonder with you. So, what are you look, still looking so glum for? Though I am human once more, my kingdom is not, but ruins. And she... she is long gone. A story has already become a fairy tale. Everyone knows how it ends. But your highness... Ribbit? Huh? You're the frog we saw before. Where have you been all this time? A... Uh, frog? Give it like 20 seconds, if not less. You know, this frog helped us back when we were cursed. In fact, it led us straight to you. Truly? How very... Huh? There you go, Ali. There's Yasmina. Where the heck did she come from? She's certainly not... Surely this is impossible. Yasmina, my beautiful princess Yasmina. Huh? Uh, apparently everybody is in dire shock. Ali, I have been waiting for you. Waiting for so long. And I was a frog as well, just like you. Is this a dream? Are you really... But how? Hang on a minute. So that colorful frog we saw was actually... Yes, Swain. I, 
I think I'm going to cry. I drank some... I drank the same potion as you, Abby. The potion that changed you into a frog. The one that cursed you. I thought... If I were cursed as well, then you would not be alone. Aww. You did this... for me? I always believed that we would meet again, Ali. I knew that your curse would be lifted one day. I had only to wait. Why do I get the feeling that that last part of the story he told was just an assumption? And wait. <laughs> it's Mina. Ali. Aww. I love that. Oh my gosh, gang, you're hitting me with the feels again. <laughs> Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You need not worry about us anymore. We are together again, and that is all that matters. Yes, we will finally be able to spend our lives together, just as we have always wished. But where are you going to get? I didn't want to mention it, but like, like but your kingdom. Well, well, it ain't what it was. Seen better days and all that. That is true. Though this is also a magnificent city in its own right, I feel sure that we can make it our home. Indeed, it is a fine city, and we should not dwell on the past. No, no, no. We should think about what we can contribute to the world of today. <laughs> Have you considered becoming Babana Mitchens? My father really enjoys it, and the free Babanas are a real bonus. Babanas? What are they? Oh, right. I suppose they didn't have Babanas back in your day. You really should try one, Your Highness. They're delicious. They sound wonderful. I cannot wait to taste my first Babana. Oh, yeah, here's one. Bob, those are two fingers. No, see? Ow! <sighs> Bob, you just ate your own finger. No, uh. <laughs> Okay, Bob, you know what? Chew. Chew, Bob, get. <laughs> it's nice to see you smiling. You're really lucky to have been given a second chance at happiness, you know? Don't let it slip away. It's not everybody gets that. Spain's right. For once! <laughs> You've waited thousands of years for this moment. Indeed. And it is thanks to you that I it has finally arrived. You know, Esther, I think you'd better change the ending of that fairy tale. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and what will the new ending be? Hmm, let me think. Was that sarcasm? <laughs> I smell. I'm pretty sure that was sarcasm. Please, wait. Do not be so hasty in writing the ending of our story. I beseech you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose this fairy tale isn't over yet, is it? Certainly not, indeed. I feel that it is... To be continued. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Let's get a move on, shall we? I reckon the happy couple might want some time alone. Oh, of course. Huh? You are lucky you're 13 years old, Oliver. <laughs> you've got a lot to... You've got a lot to learn, Ollie boy. You really have. Anyway, that's quite enough talking. Let's get walking. We've got things to do, you know. Yeah, we do. Couple things I want to see before we end this video. Yes, we should. We should go. I'm sure we'll be seeing this fairy tale couple again soon, anyway. Uh, Esther. Okay. Cool. The unswerving loyalty of two loving hearts has unlocked a story in the Wizard's Companion. Cool. You obtained a new tale of wonder. The Bear Man and the Princess's Tear. Sure. This place has undergone some changes. Its halcyon days seem far behind it. Hi! Halcyon. All that is left of that kingdom and its people is the empty citadel you see before you. You have regrets. Destruction was the destiny those fools deserved. The 
choice you made was correct. Excuse me? Why? I never thought I would hear you say that. Now, counselor, to what do I owe this pleasure? I came to inquire about your intentions. My intention? Your intentions for this world. A world I believe you would protect. Am I not correct, Darujin? It is only a matter of time before the forbidden spell is used again. Does the thought not seem disagreeable to you? We all share Maybe. Quite sure of this. My deeds shall demonstrate that I mean what I say. Watch as the frail hopes of the people of this world are torn from them and turned to the blackest despair. So you would have them share your fate. Very well. Okay. Just what are you? I don't know if I want to know. This should be interesting. Definitely going to be enticing. By the way, you're a swift boy. I'll give you that. It seems you have yourselves a full set of magic stones already. That only took like, what, three episodes? <laughs> we couldn't have done it without Tantri. There's nowhere he can't fly. <laughs> He's done me proud. He may be a mere fledgling, but he has all the makings of a legendary dragon. Now, you know what needs to be done needs doing next, I take it. Those magic stones need to be reunited with that wand of yours. So we just need to put the magic stones back in the holes in the wand, huh? Okay. Here goes. Arr. Hmm? Uh oh. Eh? They'll never fit. Flippin' heck! What's all this about? That's the wrong blue in size, ain't it? Are you blind or something? I, I guess I didn't think to check. I could totally fit that in there! It looks like the perfect size! Shut up, Bob! I mean, we were so busy looking for them. You're not seriously telling me we've ended up with a bunch of worthless counterfeits, are you? No, they're real. Of, of that, there can be no doubt. The keepers of the stones you crossed swords with were real enough, were they not? Then why don't they fit the wand? Tis Moonstar that has changed size. So, Mornstar used to be bigger. Like it's not, it's shifted shape to fit the land of its new owner. But there's bound to be a way to get those stones to follow suit. And I'll warrant some wise soul has scribbled it down somewhere. I've a nose for plunder and I'd say you'd best have a sniff around the self-same place you first heard tell of Mornstar. And I first came by the map. Hamlet, of course. You're right, Kublai. So it's back to Hamlin again, is it? This seems to be becoming a habit. Come on then, Oliver. Okay, let's go see how Markison's doing. Uh, sure. Are there anybody here who needs... Well, you know what? We're at our end point anyway. It extended a bit longer than I was hoping, but we are at our end point. I don't think anybody here is going to have side missions, but we'll figure out side missions when we get to Hamelin next time. For right now, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witcher Master. If you liked it, push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a game by Bandai Namco or level 5 you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. 
click the bottom right hand corner if you want to check out the one thing I've done by level 5 to this point. Not complete. Or you might find me doing a playlist, depending on when you see this. Um, but yeah, check the bottom right hand corner, and it'll take you to that destination, or click the link across my head with 47 other episodes to this point or more once we've finished. To check out the, all the other rides of this ride. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!